Okay, I got some junk to show you. <clears throat> yes, that's what I call my pickups videos now. Junk to show you. <laughs> okay. I haven't done one of these in a while because frankly I haven't been uh, going out hunting or whatever you want to call it. I did pick up a few things uh, this past week or so. Uh, one thing at um, Value Village. It was at Value Village. I needed an extra PlayStation controller. Uh, I have two, but uh, for some reason one of the ones I've got, it's not responsive, a couple of the buttons, so $3.99 I picked up another one. Yay, so exciting! Uh, they also had a couple ColecoVision games. Now this was a package of two for $1.99, so basically they were a buck each. Uh, one I already had. This one, Ladybug. I already had it. Great game though, by the way. Uh, and I got it for this one, which was not that exciting. Rocky. Thing is, I realized once I got home that this needs those um, uh, super action controllers. You know, those really big ones with the big buttons that makes it look like you're wearing a giant robot fist? Yeah, the super action controllers. I don't have those. Oh well. Uh, where did I get this? This might have been the local game store. I think it was five bucks. Uh, Asteroids. Hyper. 64. Um, I have the PS1 version now. I didn't know, but this seems to be the exact same game as the Asteroids on the PlayStation 1. I figured being a different name, it was a different game, but it seems to be the same. Uh, I actually picked up some Atari games at the local game store, too. Uh, it's kind of an interesting little story. I was in there. I was actually looking for the DVD of Yogi Bear for my daughter, because they sell movies, too. And um, they didn't have it, by the way. But there was this young kid in there, and apparently he had just bought an Atari 2600. And the girl behind the counter, who, who knew me, she said, oh, oh, you want to talk about Atari, go ask him, mentioning me. So the kid comes up to me, starts asking me all kinds of questions. He's really excited because he just got an Atari off of Kijiji, and he was looking for some good, cheap games. So I told him some of the better ones. He picked a few out and brought them to the counter and bought them. I don't know. I just thought it was a neat, neat little thing that, um, excuse me. A young kid, you know, he's probably looked around 12, would be interested in the old stuff. So I thought it was cool to be able to pass along a little bit of my knowledge. Anyway, it got me interested enough to buy a few games. We had a couple that were for a buck, so I grabbed them. Nothing special here. Space War. Now, I have this game, but uh, I put that fake Captain Spacey label on it, so I figured, you know what, I'll pick up another one just so I can have the actual label. <laughs> Captain Spacey. Okay. This one I just bought for, um, it was also a, yeah, a whopping dollar. Um, it's a horrible game, really, but I, I love the artwork on this cartridge. Slot racers. I just love that, that futuristic cars, a futuristic city, and the colors and everything. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a horrible game, but I love, I love the art on uh, some of these Atari cards. They're really cool. Um, this one was three. Not not that great of a game either, but Warplock or Warplock, whatever you want to call it. Now this one is good. This isn't a magic game, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Juno First a little bit, Moon Sweeper, and this one was four, but well worth it. That that's a great game. That one right there. Um, I was also out at the barn last week at the barn. I've mentioned the barn before uh, and they have a lot of retro stuff so I picked up three Atari games there they were 250 each let's see this one is the telegames version of lock and chase which most people know from the M network carts lock and chase actually a pretty good game I like it um, Egomania which is kinda like Kaboom it's not bad actually and this game is also like Kaboom and also not too bad, Lost Luggage from Apollo. Those were 250 each. And they also had, at the barn, uh, 
you know, I'll do, they actually had Turbo Graphics. Now they had a system there, uh, 65 bucks, it came with five games. I just picked out two of the games and he sold them to me for five dollars each. Good ones too. Fantasy Zone, kind of a cartoonish kind of shooter, but it's, it's a good one. And, or on the opposite end of the spectrum, probably the hardest shooter ever made, R-Type. So actually that's really good, five bucks each for Turbo Graphics games. Oh, and one more thing that was there at the uh, the barn. I picked this up. Um, this is the sequel. I played the original on a friend's Amiga back in high school. It's not as good as I remember it, or the sequel might not be as good. But I don't know. Shadow of the Beast 2. This was also two dollars and fifty cents, same price as the Atari games. And this one is complete. It's actually in really, really good shape. Now I'm actually supposed to be selling this to uh, an Atari age member. I told him I would get um, a shipping quote, but I've been so busy this past week, I have not gotten out there. So, Shadow of the Beast 2. I thought it was interesting, but I don't know. Not my cup of tea. Um, a couple of packages as well. Um, I ordered a couple of Atari games from Trading Games. I'll put the link to their website, too. Really good place, good prices. I picked up a couple of uh, ones that I missed. I got rid of in my purge back in January, I think it was. So these are not more of, a, I would say, a reacquire than a pickup. But there's Fast Food by Telus, probably their best game or my favorite game that they made. And a good Sega game, Tupper, pretty good. Yeah, so I'll leave a link to the trading game site if anybody else wants to order from them, based in the U.S. Oh, and another package. This was actually from a member on CGCC.ca, Canadian uh, gaming site forums. Uh, someone was selling Coco games, and this is one uh, I only heard of recently, and um, I knew it, the game existed, but I, I didn't know it existed in cart form, so this was pretty cool, even though the game itself isn't great. It's Robot Battle for the Coco. Yeah, that's one I've never, I've never seen this one before, not the cart, never seen it before. There's a little writing on it, someone wrote joysticks. Okay. Always cool to find Coco games. Oh, and the last thing, and this is a shout out to a fellow YouTuber and a fellow Windsorite, Jesbo Vision, and his name is also Jeremy. Uh, some of you sub to his channel already. I'll leave a link. You can sub to him too. He does great pickup videos. Um, and I met him because back in January when I did that purge, when I sold a bunch of things, Jeremy bought a lot of the games off of me. Anyway, I'd mentioned to him that, because uh, in his last pickup video, he had found a, a joystick for a Coco. So I, I left in my comment, you know, if you ever find anything else for the Coco, uh, pick it up for me. And he did. Now, this is not for the Tandy Color computer. This is another Tandy computer itself. But it has nothing to do with the Coco. And it works great, by the way. Jeremy picked this up, not knowing whether it worked or not, but it does. With the adapter. I have an adapter plugged into this. But this is very cool. It's a Tandy Model 102, and I don't know if you can see the screen, but it is on. Uh, and apparently you can play games on this thing, too. I have to find a way to uh, load programs onto it. There is a way. Um, it's got cable back there. What is that? The cassette phone printer. RS-232 plug is here. Some switches on the side. It's, it's in great shape. Works great. Yeah. I've never had one of these before. So thanks very much, Jeremy. Jezbo Vision. I'll leave a link to his site. And that's my pickup videos for today. This is Atari Leaf. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a fantastic day.